Well, my name is Len Pajali, and I'm a caregiver. My wife uh, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about uh, six years ago. I have wonderful children, but they're all young relative to this. So while they can help me, they're working full time. The first day I dropped my wife off, I went into my car and I started crying. I was so upset because it's like letting a child, you know, leaving your child the first day at kindergarten. But that was the first and only day I ever cried about this because I realized by the end of the first day that she was in a great place. I've known about the Wartburg for years, so it was just seemed second nature almost to think about the Wartburg when I was thinking about my wife. It's hard for me or I think anyone here to even imagine uh, uh, this community without Wartburg in it. Wartburg is a pillar in the community, woven into the fabric of Lower Westchester. It used to be that I would give her a kiss and she would, you know, be taken off by one of the aides. Now she just comes in and kiss, who cares? She's just goes right in and, and involves herself in whatever's going on. So I would say she's extremely happy with the place. If you love your loved one and you want your loved one to get the best care, come to Wartburg. We believe that working in this environment is a calling, is doing um, in many ways God's work. When I was younger, I used to go to the nursing home where my mother worked, how much they enjoyed seeing my mother when my mother would be there. I think that actually was given to me through my mother, like that special care and concern for patients. That she has stimuli, the activities, the arts and crafts, the dancing, the music, the yoga and so on, and that she has this wonderful staff. I mean, some of the best people on earth work in this facility. I am most proud of the employees. I'm there to do whatever I can in whatever way to assist them. I felt the geriatric population was um, underserved. They have these established lives. They've done so many things that they deserve more and they deserve better. I see people most days, so you have a, a relationship outside just the medical. So you really get to know people, you get to know families. I've been in a lot of places where seniors are and there's not always that care. Wartburg stands out in that way. We're able to focus on the patient, give them exactly what they need, get them up and going and better. Our later years should be happy, productive, safe. I make that happen every day. What is in the best interest of the residents uh, is, is part of life here, and it, it permeates through the entire organization. I look at them and I say, if this was my grandmother, what would I want to be done for her? How would I want her to be treated? And I would want the person to get to know her, to know what she liked, to know who she was, to know what she did in her lifetime, to know that she was somebody special in her life. And so that's what I try to do. What's most rewarding is showing people that they can do something that they think they can't. Especially when they came in, if they came in and they didn't have a smile and, and something happens because of what we've done and now they're smiling, that gives me a lot of joy because I know we've impacted their, their day in some special way. The basic values that drive this organization, the trust that we've earned, the relationship that we have with residents and their families in this community, any organization can do it, we just do it better. Wartburg consistently delivers.
This was one of those decisions where I just called it right, completely right. I have only positive feelings about this. This decision makes me happy. If someone came to me and wanted to know where to place a loved one in a day situation or in a nursing home situation, I would unequivocally support the notion that they should place their loved one at the Wartburg, period.